honesty is one of the most greatest thing in life. It is not always the way that you can be the most successful, but this is the most truest and the most purest way to life. Be not always honest. I have more respect myself for somebody that stands for something. Even if he is wrong, there's somebody that did come up like an angel, but there's never more than that. What that means? You can better be true and being rational and stand for something than being a person that stands for nothing and fall for anything and become act and being actually nothing more than one packet. Be stuffer is not by definition always wrong. If you be right, then you be right. But if you have flaws in your personality, you have to fix them. One. In life also, the best way to give get uh, forgiving is be honest. Is be honest. Don't lie, don't manipulate, don't use the good attentions of people if they have them in a bad way. Make not the world to a better place, make, not, make actually nothing to a better place. You can better be hated for something that you've been than be loved for something that you've not been. You have also not to be 100% for a crew with somebody to support him. As if the main focus of the message being uh, actually good. And what you support. Focus always on the bigger picture, not about aspects, small aspects of somebody that you don't like. If they fight for the same course. And particular if this course have any kind of more content. For example, I mean not for 100% uh, agree with anything that Gary Yarovsky said. But for 99% of his message, I mean, I agree actually. I think, just like Gary, that people be lazy. That people be lying about, look to what kind of irrational, absurd excuses people come up with, cons with um, still consuming animal products. Want her that somebody used the same excuses to justify its cannibalism? And people say that I've been crazy and because I don't support um, cruelty or cruel traditions and cruel beliefs. I just say, you will always find the way in it. I maybe say something a little bit different than I want to say. I also not for 100% agree with vegan gains or um, Emily from Buy Side Vegan. And I've been also not. 100% agree with Sorsha and also not agree 100% with Freely. But there have been spots that I support in all of them. Also, I've been also not 100% agree with uh, Darren Reader. 
I think he has some great points. Because we have to stop with procreating like uh, rabbits. And so the vasectomy, uh, the ID, I think that is not so bad if you think about it. We have so much children that uh, need adoption. Why then breed more children? And the, uh, it is true that the consumption pill for women being far more toxic than the stero steroids that men have to, uh, uh, men use. So, and uh, it is absolutely not a big issue if you, for people that want to have a sexual relationship to do that, to sew down. I myself want not to have um, sexual relationships because I've been asexual. So if I have said in many of my videos. Uh, but if I was sexual attractive to somebody, I will take a vasectomy. Or take my balls completely out of my body. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the last, yes, I won't take. Absolutely nice to say to me, and I think just pure arrogance if you don't do that and you want to have a sexual relationship with somebody if you been a man. If you have more questions, put them in the description below. I want also to do a Q&A, so put also these questions in the description below. Uh, uh, I also want to do more motivation videos, so you can also ask me questions about that kind of stuff. If you have problems in your life yourself, maybe I can help you. You can always listen to what I have to say. Maybe it help you to come out of your problems. I've been in a mood that I want to help somebody. Even though I've been a misanthrope. And despite all, all groups of people. I don't despise all people in the world, but I despise all the groups I never belong to. Just like Gary Orofsky, just like Arthur Schopenhauer, Nietzsche, and a lot of others. All, a lot of other great minds in the whole history. And that today live also. Being honest, it's not always what you get most famous, is what I say. So be always honest, be true, speak your mind, be not afraid. To harm, hurt somebody else's feelings. Because some, hurting somebody's feelings is just. hurting somebody's feelings. If not, somebody is not hurt their feelings once in their whole life, they become actually just like the kings and queens in, in the Middle Ages. And they don't can handle any critic and become whiny, selfish people, actually. If they're not can handle what you think about them, they get you, and then you get extremely selfish people. They don't can handle critique. It's always to be better. 
and this always be, to be true. If you want to become an honest person, you have not to be afraid to be judged. You don't have to be afraid to speak in your mind and learn from your mistake. Instead, that you make the same mistakes over and over and again. If you not want to open with your feelings about something, and you don't give yourself the chance to think about it, how can you grow in that? Understand what I mean? Oh. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I see you next time.